Hello everyone, here is how to do the full Rani questline in Elden Ring. The first thing we gotta do is make our way to Lernia of the Lakes and the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. So, we gotta fight the boss here, which is Rani's mother, Renala, and once we take down both the Red Wolf of Radagon as well as Renala, then we can proceed to starting the quest itself. So when we fight Renala, it's actually Rani helping her out in the fight, so I thought that was pretty interesting, but this is one of the most beautiful fights in a From Software game. It is gorgeous. And yeah, once we take down Renala, then we can proceed on to the Caria Manor, which is where Rani's going to be. So we got to go to the north of Lernia of the Lakes, and then there's going to be a hidden wall there, and then there's going to be these scary little things here. Deal with them with fire, because they are a pain to deal with otherwise. Then we're going to take down Royal Knight Loretta in the area, end area here. Sneak past this dragon. He's not worth fighting at this time. He'll just fly away. And then we're going to go up to the top of Ronnie's Rise. So this is really just sped up and we got to go talk to her. Say that there's no particular reason for us coming there. And then this is how we start the quest line. So it is pretty simple, but then we're going to go onwards to the next step, which is we have to go talk to the people below. So Blythe being the most important that we had to talk to as well as EG and Celibus as well. But yeah, we're going to go talk to them. Blythe is the next person we got to go see. And this part isn't actually off isn't actually necessary, it's an optional part, but we have to go to the Siafra, Siafra River well and talk to him here. So this is one of the most beautiful areas of the game, so I recommend going to it at least just to get the view, but you can see him there over on the other side, so he's just right in that area there. Go and talk to him. He doesn't have much to say, but really our next step is to go to fight Radon, since Blade will help us there. We're gonna have him recruited, and then we can take down Star Scourge Radon which will lead to the stars falling and allowing us to get to Nokran Internal City. So that's really the next step in this part is to go down to there. And there's gonna be a new spot marked on the map and this is just sped up footage of jumping down all the way through it. It's pretty straightforward, but you might wanna follow along with that if you're having difficulties with it. And we gotta run through the entire Nokran Eternal City, which isn't too difficult. It's pretty straightforward, just following the pathway that I took here. And you can do a bit of exploring because there are some good items here. We do have to fight the Mimic tier, and we will get the Mimic tier Spirit Ash from here as well, so it is worthwhile doing this quest line. So the Mimic tier Ash is just in here, so we're going to jump down into this room and then go to the far side. There will be a door that you can put a Swordstone key into, and then here will be the Mimic tier. Next, we're gonna jump out of this room here and go straight forwards. There's gonna be the Finger Slayer Blade, which is what we need to give to Rani for her to slay her own two fingers. So this is actually a really important part of the game. And you go back to Rena's Rise, or Rani's Rise, talk to her there, and then we're gonna to go to Rena's Rise, actually, in the next location. So we do have to go to the other tower, and there's gonna be a teleporter there, which will take us down to the next area that we have to go to, which is the Ainsel River Main, which we're going to find a miniature doll version of Ronnie here in one of the tombstones there. So we're going to grab that, go to her grace, and just keep annoying her by trying to talk to her. Eventually she'll open up and she's a little bit uh, embarrassed it seems, a little bit angry maybe at us. But we just got to talk to her there and then we're going to continue on this beautiful location. Like just absolute gorgeous. I think this is one of the most beautiful parts of the game and it's all part of the Randy quest. So we're going to run through here. There's some enemies in perfume you can fight but we're gonna go down this elevator which will take us to fighting blade which is sad this is him turning against ronnie as she's trying to uh, betray the two fingers so yeah next we're gonna proceed past the boss fight room and then there's gonna be another air ladder that takes us down to the lake of rot this is an annoying area but you just have to sprint through it and chug potions eventually you'll get to the end of it where there's gonna be a coffin that we have to hop into and I don't know why, but we're going to ride that down. And then we get to fight one of the coolest looking bosses in the game with a Estelle, Natural Boy of the Void. Pretty easy boss fight at this point in the game. But then we're going to go up the teleporter that we have up there. And it's going to take us to the Moonlit Altar. And then we're going to run into the church and down this little pathway here, which will take us to Ronnie again, which you can see her two fingers has been slayed. Now this happens because we gave her the Finger Slayer Blade. So then we just go up to her and put her ring on it. That's really it for this quest line. You're going to get the Moonlight Greatsword, which is an incredibly powerful weapon in this game. And it's, I think, the best ending. I don't know. This game is pretty dark in all of its endings. But it seems like Ronnie wants to really do something better for the Lands Between. So 
I support it. That is it. That's how you do the Ronnie questline in Elden Ring. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please hit that subscribe button below.